iOS 18 is a big release that delivers more ways to customize your iPhone. Stay connected and relive special moments. First, let's talk about a set of features that give you exciting new ways to personalize your iPhone further. Starting with your home screen, you can already customize your home screen with your favorite wallpaper, apps and widgets letting your personality shine through. And now your app icons and widgets can add even more. Let me show you. I have this photo I love as my wallpaper. And now, I can continue to enjoy it when I unlock my iPhone. Because I can arrange my apps and widgets to frame it perfectly. I can select them all and easily place them along the bottom, right above the dock for easy access, or even off to the side. And check this out. We have an awesome new look for app icons. When we go into dark mode, let's turn it on. Isn't that cool? Now in addition to this new dark look, there are even more new ways to adjust how they look. I can bring up a new customization sheet, and now I can tint them all with color. Now, iOS suggests a tint color that complements my wallpaper, or I can select any other color I want. Now they really pop. It's so easy to create just the right look. Whether you prefer the classic look or want to go dark or style with color, there are so many possibilities. To make your home screen truly your own, we're also bringing new levels of customization and capability to Control Center, helping you access many of the things you do every day. Even faster, let's take a look. When I swipe from the top right corner, I can see Control Center, with all my controls organized in one place. And now, Control Center isn't limited to just the controls. You see here, I can swipe to multiple new groups of controls, like for media playback, you can see how beautiful this looks. And here are my home controls. It's so useful to have everything arranged for me. Like this so. Oh, that shouldn't be open let me close the garage. And what's really great is. I can get to any one of these groups. With a single continuous swipe. I can get straight to my home controls. For instance. Or right back up to the top to add more controls. I can open up the new controls gallery. Where I have so many options to choose from. We wanted to make control center more extensible than ever so now developers can include controls from their apps as well like this one from ford let's add that in i can adjust how my controls are laid out and resize them too now i can cool down the car just like that so that's the new control center to enable new controls and control center we have a new controls api for developers and that's not all these new controls are also available from the lock screen so you can swap the camera and flashlight for different controls like taking a note when an idea strikes or quickly capturing the moment for your snapchat and you can even use the action button on iphone 15 pro to invoke these new controls another key part of personalizing ios is about keeping you in control of your privacy and ios 18 gives you even more ways to control who can see your apps how you share your contacts and how you connect to accessories let's start with apps sometimes we hand our device to someone so they can look at a photo or play a game but we want peace of mind that they can't get into sensitive areas of our phone so this year we're giving you a new way to protect sensitive apps and the information inside them by letting you lock an app when you choose to lock an app if someone else tries to tap it they will be required to authenticate using Face ID. Touch ID or your passcode and information from inside the app won't appear in other places across the system like in search and notifications so others won't inadvertently see sensitive information. There may also be occasions when you want to hide an app that you don't want others to know is installed on your device. For example say you use a professional grade spatial capture app to track your different hairstyles I mean, that's just good science, right? Well, anyway, say you use this app, but you don't want anyone else to know. Well, now you can hide it and put it in a new hidden apps folder. That's locked. We're also adding new ways to control how you share information with apps. Starting with contacts today, when you give an app access to your contacts, it can learn about all the people you've added. Over time in iOS 18, we're putting you in control by letting you decide which contacts an app can see. We're also putting you in control when you pair accessories, and that may ask for Bluetooth and local network access, but also gain visibility to all the other devices on your network next wallet. 
Continuing on our journey, to replace your physical wallet, we're introducing Tap to Cash, a quick and private way to exchange Apple Cash without sharing phone numbers or email addresses. With Tap to Cash, you can pay someone back for dinner just by holding your phones together. We're adding to new ways to pay with Apple Pay Online, giving customers around the world the ability to redeem rewards and access installments from their banks and card providers. And powered summaries are also coming to the phone app. And when you start a recording in a live call, participants are automatically notified. So, no one is surprised. Chat GPT from OpenAI powered by GPT for Zero. First, we build support into Siri, so Siri can tap into Chat GPT's expertise when it might be helpful for you. For example, if you need menu ideas for an elaborate meal to make for friends using some freshly caught fish and ingredients from your garden, you can just ask Siri. Siri determines that Chat GPT might have good ideas. For this, ask your permission to share your question and presents the answer directly. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Your feedback helps me create better content for you. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel Wealth Secret. It's free and you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks again for your support and I'll see you in the next video.